Hey everybody, welcome back. Leo Pazzo TV, thank you very much for tuning in. You are now stepping into another season of Reef Tank Addiction. JP, this is an amazing tank you have and I want to say thank you very much for having me over at your tank. Hey guys, so my name is JP. I've been in the hobby for just about three years now. This is my 270 gallon display tank. I hope that you enjoy it. And this is Leo Paso TV. <laughs> I'm gonna move this camera so we can get a better, closer look at some of these uh, fish and coral. We're gonna head downstairs to the basement and we're gonna check out the sump filtration. Is that where the sump is? Yes, that's correct. We're gonna check out the sump filtration, but before we do that, we have a few more things that we wanna do before we go down there. And I just don't wanna leave the tank. I don't even wanna to go to the basement, but we need to see the guts of this system. That's we definitely need to do that. But before we do that, you spoke about plumbing and I wanna learn about your plumbing and what you did and how it all kinda of got set up here and where's the intake, where's the outtake and all that other jazz. So let's go ahead and start doing that right now. Okay, JP, let's look more in detail of your plumbing of this 270 gallon reef tank. I wanna know more about it, so if I wanted to set up a tank like this, I can probably do the same thing that you did pretty much. So let's start off here. I noticed there is a return line here in the corner on the back top wall. That's right, so there's a dual return on one in the left and one in the right. Okay, let's check out this right uh, side one. Yeah, you can see. is a three quarter inch. Three quarter inch return lines? That's correct. And, okay. Uh, so you can see uh, there's two overflow uh, exits in the middle. Right, so up there on the back glass of the tank, we have the teeth, the slots for the overflow, right? Which is gonna be our drain, right? Uh, that drain is gonna be draining down into our sump downstairs in the basement. So how many drains are in that overflow box? There's a total of three drains. Uh, basically one is just a safety drain, so it's right. not actually being used right now. Okay. And uh, the other two, uh, just basically, uh, one of the other one is also a safety. Depends on how, how much flow I want to add in here exactly. Right. The flow is adjustable. Um, basically downstairs, if I if I want to, I'll explain it after. Okay, when we and go I'll, down there, so we can look at this plumbing from the the back of the tank here, right? I want to get a better idea to see what's going on and how this is exactly working. So we have three quarter inch PVC pipe here. The tank is drilled on the back of the wall. We got a bulkhead and then it goes down three quarter inch uh, down here and it looks like it's going yeah into your basement like you said that's correct uh, basically uh, i got the, the builder cut me a hole over there too which yeah. i put a cover in there as well as uh basically i uh, have three drains which is a uh, 1.5 inch uh, pvcs and uh the returns are actually a uh, one inch okay Oh, the returns are one inch, not three quarters. Uh, yes, just the just spray bar is three quarters. Oh, I got you right. The, the return line, lock line here. This fitting is three quarters. And you know what? You're actually right because that reminds that when I'm building tanks, that's something that I, I kind of consider. You know, we're, we're using one inch plumbing and then at the end of it all, it comes to three quarters. And I've looked online for one inch lock lines and I don't really call recall them having it so I guess we're stuck with the three quarter inches yeah, that's correct so yes as you can see there are only uh, unions in there so I unioned everything so the reason for this is uh, I, I watch a lot of uh, videos on plumbing and basically a lot of uh, youtubers they've recommended uh, unions uh, basically what happens is like later on let's say I want to take my tank apart to uh, do some maintenance I can right. actually uh, the, the unions make that a lot easier so with the union, uh, those unions, basically it's the PVC plumbing right here that allows you to unscrew your plumbing easily and, you know, change your pump, maintain your pump, 
whatever you got to do, change your plumbing. It's just very nice and convenient. And we got the three bulkheads for the three drains. Like you said, they're an inch and a half drains. And what kind of uh, plumbing do we have inside the overflow box? Or like, what kind of a method is this? Like a straight pipe, a Duracell? I had other tanks that had the same style. Yeah. Um, so basically, I just imitated it. And, uh, it's for me. It looks like there's a two. There's two 90 degree elbows there, right? That's correct. Right. So uh, from what I I think it's called the like a Duracell standpipe, which is known to make it the drain silent, and mm -hmm. it is draining right now. The system is running, is it not? Yes, that's correct. And I don't really hear these drains that loud at all, gurgling or making any kind of noise. Yes. The camera is pretty much right beside. Uh, the drains and it is very silent so you did do a good job on that um, you know I guess maybe did that take some time to kind of adjust because I know that's a common problem uh, for people to you know complain about their plumbing being a little bit loud or their drain and trying to silence it and whatnot I actually I got lucky I and mean, it was you know I, I put it in and it actually worked out like that for me and it worked well and I have no issues so far so that's good yeah the scariest thing is really just like leaking and everything so you got to make sure you add a lot of pvc glue as well as you know your primer right to the pvc and make sure it's stable you got to put it into a test with mm -hmm. all that pressure in there exactly and uh yeah the last thing i want to do is have a leak in the new house and i'll definitely cost a fortune <laughs> yeah i hear that so you know what, I think now that we understand the, you know, the setup of the tank and how it works with the uh, two return lines, one inch on either side of the tank, we have the uh, three drains in the middle of the tank with the external overflow box, which we learned as well earlier. That overflow box is approximately 20 gallons, which adds, you know, 20 gallons to our overall system water volume. Um, I think we're ready to go downstairs and check out your sump filtration. I have not seen this. I kind of want to see what equipment you have to run this tank the way you have it. <laughs> in the basement where JP keeps the sump filtration and all this other stuff that I'm noticing for his 270 gallon reef tank. JP, please, where do we start? We left off upstairs on the plumbing. Okay, so we're gonna start with the plumbing guys. So basically, uh, I, we showed you how the floor was dr drilled from down. So we're gonna start you from the top here right now. So this is where the plumbing is coming down from upstairs. That's correct. Our drain lines, and our return lines. Let's get the camera and to give a closer look and because I want to cover everything that you got going on over here. Ready? Let's do it right now. Let's go. Oh. Oh, <laughs> 